Hey yo, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I hit 500 subscribers, so thank you everyone that subscribed, likes the videos and watches, and also makes a comment. Uh, it's kind of interesting to see the comments back and forth. Anyway, today's video is on me making a set of crucible tongs for a two kilogram uh, ceramic crucible. I'm going to be doing a big project where I'm going to be pouring about two kilograms of silver. I want to make uh, four uh, shot glasses and it's very inefficient making them one at a time. It takes 10 hours to do the actual kiln process. So I want to do four to make it more efficient. So I needed a bigger crucible and I had to make better tongs. It always bugs me um, watching people do pours where they take the uh, crucible out of the furnace, set it down and then pick it up again with another tong. And I always think that's a recipe for it. something to go wrong, get pushed over, fall over and molten metal to go everywhere. And if you're doing that with silver, it gets really expensive. So. I'm going to be building my new set. It's kind of my design. I made it about 10 years ago, maybe a little bit more at a friend's house. And I keep improving it with each time I make it. Anyway, you guys can copy it. And here's the video. Hope you enjoy. And uh, thanks for watching. Okay, so this is my one kilogram ceramic crucible. This is my two kilogram. Uh, this one will not f work for that. So I had to make a new one. And just to show you the old one, it's just pincer, put it down there, and it holds it tight. And then I came up with this one here, a little bit different. Okay, so when you're marking metal and then put heat on it, you can't use a pen or chalk, you have to use a file. And so you get a good scratch mark and there I am testing to make sure I can find it. So I fired up the uh, propane or map gas and then realized uh, it's hard and my hands are there. <laughs> so I switched out to gloves. So I'm just kind of heating it, bending it over. And that's a uh, 40 pound block of steel that I'm using works really well I picked that up on eBay I think for $30 with shipping so it, it makes a pretty good anvil and here I am just kind of eyeballing everything heating it up again and knocking it over I do that a few times through here and it uh, is just a case of uh, paying attention kind of imagining and um, just working through it And here I'm kind of matching it up to the old one just to make sure I'm going in the right direction. So uh, just moving on with it. And here I am kind of flattening out the side so I can have the two pieces right together. And then later on I'll drill a hole so they bolt together. Okay, so I've got the two pieces flattened out and I'm just kind of matching them up to see where to drill the hole. And putting in a hole. So now I've got the uh, bottom piece and I'm trying to find the position and I uh, welded it on. And then I've got the little peg to stop the uh, crucible from sliding off. Yeah, follow me for professional welding tips. So I've got two kilograms of pewter here just to kind of get a feel of what the weight would feel like. And it feels really good to hold it and pour, so I think it'll do a good job. Okay, so you made it to the end of the video. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna have some updates soon on my air rifle build. Uh, and as well, there'll be another video with me casting a bell and the uh, silver shot glasses. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, see you on the next one.